everybody. This is Kelly Davis, your host of the Untold Miracles podcast. And today I am so excited for our very special guest, the one and only Chris Pratt. Now, several months ago, we were able to do a virtual visit with several of our children's hospitals. And these patients got to ask Chris questions about his life, how he got started in acting, advice he would have to anyone who wants to be an actor, some of his favorite movies, favorite stars he's got to work with, We learn about his son, Jack, who was born premature and how Chris had to be brave during that time of his life. We learn a lot more. It's a really fun episode. These kids are so amazing and we are so grateful for Chris and all he does to help kids and our children's hospitals. Really, he is helping change kids' health to change the future and we are so grateful for him. Hope you enjoy the episode. We know you are very busy and we appreciate your time today. And the kids would really like to ask you a question. So can we start with Jesus? Do you want to ask Chris a question? Yeah. Um, one question. Um, do you do your own stunts or do you have your own stunt doubles? <laughs> uh. Well, I, it's a kind of a combination of both. I do have an extraordinary st- stunt man. On the last movie I did, I had two stuntmen, one who specialized just in motorcycle stunts, and then another one who's really an amazing stuntman who can do flips and jump off of buildings and land on his feet and keep running. He's just, and he's 10 years younger than me, so he doesn't feel the same aches and pains I feel if I get in a fight sequence. And so (laughs) I I do some of my own stunts, and I do as many stunts as, as they'll let me. But uh, mm-hmm. then there comes a liability issue. So I do have a great team of stuntmen, and they are awesome athletes. It's a, it's really amazing what they can do. Cool. Let's go to Charlie. Can I be in one of your movies? Can you be in one? Oh, do you want to be an actor, Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we could probably work something out. I'd love to have you in one of my movies. What kind of acting would you like to do? Mm, I don't know. I'm just being in one of your movies. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I, I love it. You got a good look. You look like a young actor. I could see you. Maybe one day you could play a young version of me. Can I play two? Sure. We'll get all you guys. That'd be so nice. <laughs> oh, uh, Aiden, do you have a question? Um, do you do um, video games and sports? Well, um, I play some sports. I really like to, I don't know if you call it a a sport, but I like to golf. That's a kind of a game and kind of a sport. I played sports growing up. I was a wrestler and uh, I was also on the football team and on the baseball team and on the track team. So I I was always doing some kind of sports. But now that I'm out of school, um, my son and I play some video games. We play a little bit of Fortnite. We play a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies. I watch him play a game called Roblox, but I don't really know how to play Roblox very well, but he's pretty good at that game. And uh, yeah, so I I like to play games. Mostly I like to watch him play because he's actually a lot better than me, even though he's only eight. (laughs) Okay, TJ, do you have a question? Um, I'm actually striving to be famous too. I'm going to be on Disney Channel. Oh, good. And um, I was... I was going to ask, what, what movie did you start in? Well, I started in a movie called, the very first movie I did was a movie called Cursed Part 3. And it was not a good movie, but it was the best movie because it gave me an opportunity to be an actor. And I got paid to be an actor, which was cool. But I started in doing plays because in my day, when I was growing up, this is a long, long time ago, Uh, We didn't have cell phones that took videos of us and we didn't have YouTube and we didn't have Twitter or Instagram or any of that stuff. So if you wanted to try to perform for people, you had to do it pretty much live in person. And so I started by doing plays in theaters. But then the first time I got paid to be in a movie was when I was 20. And that was that movie I said, Cursed, Cursed Part 3. But now if you're trying to become well known for performing... There are really great uh, ways to do that. You can do that by shooting videos of yourself on your camera and setting up accounts and getting people to follow you in that way and figuring out what you have in your own personal life that's special that you can offer to people. And, you know, when it comes to that, I think always just be yourself and be authentic. Don't ever try to be anybody else because 
there's something very special about each and every one of us. And if we are authentic to that special thing about ourselves, then it's really interesting for other people to, to uh, get to see. So good and, luck. Um, out of all the movies you've been in, which is your favorite? Gosh, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I really love the first Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that's a great movie. I also really love the animated movies that I've been able to do. I did Le the Lego movie. That's a good one. And also most recently a movie called Onward for Pixar. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think those films are, for me, probably my favorite thing to watch because I'm not looking at my own face. Because if I watch my own face in a movie, it's, it's hard to ever watch a movie with any objectivity or to, to see it as like, you can't really become an, an audience member to a movie that you're in. So it's easier for me to detach myself from my own performance when I'm only hearing my voice. And I thought Lego movie was pretty, pretty good, pretty dope story and lots of fun and excitement. So. Uh, Doug, do you have a question? I heard you are making a Jurassic World three. When is that coming out? And what's the funnest part about mm -hmm. it? Oh, good question. Yeah, well, we just finished that. It's not gonna come out until 2022. So now it's 2020, that's almost over, then it's 2021. Mm -hmm. And then after that, 2022, 22. so about a year and a half. And hopefully by then, the world will be back to normal and we'll all be able to go to the movie theater. And uh, that's mm -hmm. when that would come out. And the most fun was about that was, I don't know if you've ever seen the original Jurassic Park movie, okay. but all of the original actors from Jurassic Park are coming back for Jurassic World. So I got to film with all of them. And that was really exciting because I'm a, a huge fan of Jurassic Park. And so I got to work with the people that I really looked at as heroes when I was growing up. I just wanted to know, how did you do all your lines of Parks and Rec without laughing? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I like that question. Well, um, probably there, it was really competitive actually. So, <laughs> I didn't always do them without laughing. You just don't see those takes. A lot of times I would laugh or other people around me would laugh, but there became a competition to see who could go the longest without laughing. So if, if you laugh, that means someone <laughs> broke you. And if you broke, that would be like a way of losing the competition. So as funny as it was, we always tried so hard to not laugh, but sometimes it just became too funny. It was just too crazy and too outlandish. And Who made you laugh the most? Was What's that? Nixon or uh, Aziz Ansari? Oh, who would who would laugh the most, or who would, who would make me? Mm -hmm. Probably Nick Offerman. Yeah, Ron Swanson is. He's pretty. He's pretty oh, hard yeah. to top. I mean, he's and he's he's the hardest one to make laugh too. He would never break. He was always in character, and and not always. Sometimes you'd get him to laugh, and if you did, you knew you like really scored. So if you said something and Nick laughed, you know it was probably going to be in the episode because it had to be pretty darn funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Good question. Thank you. I love a Parks and Rec fan. Chris? Yeah? So we've done um, several hospital visits together in Louisiana and California. I want to know why, why it's so important to you. I know you do this all the time under the radar. Why does it matter so much to you to spend time with these amazing kids that we get to talk to today? Well... That's a good question. I, I, I mean, I, I remember when I grew up, there was this guy named Tom Bradley, and he was a baseball player. He played for the Seattle Mariners, and he came to my school. And it was just so cool to meet someone like him because I saw him on TV or I watched his games, and it just meant a lot to me that he – took time out of his day to come and meet us at school and talk to me. And I even sent him a letter and he wrote back with, and sent me a, a signed baseball card. Mm -hmm. And I just remember how much that meant to me as a kid. And then when I was doing guardians of the galaxy, I, I, I've also been inspired a lot by the court. I'm from Seattle, as you can tell, probably from the Mariner story, but there's a guy named Russell Wilson, who's the quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks. And he goes, 
Seattle. Yeah, yeah. He goes every Tuesday to the Seattle Children's Hospital, and he's a role model of mine. I really look up to him and the way he he uh, is. I just really love the way he is, and I see him as a role model. And I, I realized as I was doing Guardians of the Galaxy that there was a chance that one day I might be able to make a kid feel good the way Tom made Tom Bradley made me feel good when I was growing up. And um, it really is. So I did it for that purpose. But beyond that, I'll tell you what it does for me is I am so constantly inspired by meeting young people like you all who are going through such hard times because I know you are. And I know it's, it's evident on every one of your faces how strong your spirits are, how strong your souls are inside of you. Because I personally, I'm a man of faith. I believe that we have a soul. I also believe that we have a body. And I know that sometimes our, our soul is eternal. It's going to be there forever. And our bodies sometimes, sometimes they're just not equipped to do well for some reason. And we get sick. And then we get better or we get, or, or, you know, when I see a young kid, I it's, I've never yet met a young kid whose, whose spirit had a losing attitude. Even if their body wasn't winning, their spirit is winning. And when I see a kid, I look at a kid in the eyes and I see their spirit winning like that. It just reminds me of my own soul and it, and it makes me feel really good. And it makes me want so desperately to just put a smile on your face or be with you in this moment and let you know that someone who you see in the movies and the see in the TV shows, we, I love you so much. I love each and every one of you so much. And I, I don't know, I hope that that puts a smile on your face. Cause I, I want you to know that you really inspire me because your spirits are unbreakable. Who's your favorite actor that you've had the opportunity to act with? My favorite actor that I've had the opportunity to act with. Oh my gosh. Um, I got to work with a guy named uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman one time. That was pretty cool. Um, I was able to work with Joaquin Phoenix who played Joker. You might not have seen Joker cause it's kind of a, it's kind of an adult movie, even though it's about Batman. Joker. What's that? He's in Batman. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's one of the, he's, he was one of the Joker guys. I got to work with him. Oh, Denzel Washington. I got to work with this great actor named Denzel Washington. That was pretty special. I've been able to work with a lot of really cool people. Um, and uh, yeah, I got lucky. And then of course, working with the cast of Jurassic Park recently was really cool. All the characters from Jurassic Park. That's, that was pretty sweet. Yeah. I actually got a question. Very serious. And, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Could it beat Ronan in a dance battle? <laughs> do you think I do I think I could beat him, actually beat him? Yeah, in a dance battle. No. I don't no. think so. I got about one dance move and I was doing it as hard as I could. So I don't know how long that one move would have lasted, but if he had two moves, he would beat me. You could have just oh. just a you. distraction. <laughs> Anyone else have a question before Chris has to go? I have one question. Okay, go ahead. What do you think is cuter, Groot or Baby Yoda? Ooh, that is a good question. I got to go with Baby Groot. <laughs> He's so, ba so They're both so cute, but Baby Groot dances. Yoda just kind of sits there and moves his ears and then every once in a while goes like this. Uh... Does he just drink soup? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're both really cute though. I mean, let's be yeah. honest. So what kind of like funny videos do you like watching on YouTube? What funny videos do I like to watch on YouTube? Oh, good question. Um, I know, like, I, I end up watching a lot of the same stuff that my son watches. So he watches these people who play video games. They'll play Minecraft and walk around playing Minecraft. And so he's watches someone named, like, Dan TDM or something like that. Or do you know who that is? 
and TDM. He's one of my friends on YouTube. Oh, is that right? YouTuber, and I am too. Aiden, do you have a question? Yes. Mm hmm. I was at working with a build a bear. <laughs> working with the build a bear? Yeah, rocket, build a bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty fun to watch but it's pretty boring to shoot because he's not really there so we don't have nearly as much fun shooting it as we do watching it charlie go ahead with your question he's used to remote learning for school raising the hand in the screen <laughs> yes exactly have you ever had a time that you had to be brave oh wow well I've had some moments in my life where I felt I had to be brave. Uh, one of the moments was when my son was born eight years ago. He was born very premature. He was ten. He came ten weeks early, and so he was just three pounds. And he was in the intensive care unit in a hospital, maybe much like where you guys are. And. I knew for his mom and for him that I needed to be brave. And that meant I needed to have my emotions that I felt. I, I was okay to feel those emotions, but also it, I, it was important that I uh, hide some of that from the people in my life who were depending on me. So there's a bit of bravery that was required there. And I know you guys must know what that feels like to, uh, to be scared on the inside, but showing courage and bravery on the outside. And uh, it didn't always work. Sometimes I was vulnerable and that was okay because it's okay to feel those emotions too. That's a good question though, Kayla. Thank you. All right, anyone else before we close? We just have a couple minutes left. I do, I had a question. Okay. Have you ever thought of live streaming you gaming? Uh, you know, I have never thought about that. It'd be kind of, maybe it'd be kind of cool, but I I don't really game unless I'm with my son. And for us, it's always been pretty important to keep our 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 private lives a little bit separate from the public life that I live. And so yeah. Maybe if he gets a little older and he wants to do that, I would do it with him. But until until he asks, I wouldn't want to pressure him into doing it. You know. Mm -hmm. But that's. But if I did, would you watch? Yeah, totally. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> all right. Well, if there's no other questions, Chris, um, just on behalf of all these patients today, we just want to say thank you so much for your time, for your big heart. You really are so incredible. And we are so inspired by you taking the time today because I know this really matters. You don't want, you know, this to be promoted or anything. This is just from the bottom of your heart because it matters. So thank you. We love sure you. Does. We're just so grateful for you and Catherine and, and all you do to help our children's hospital. So thank you so much. Kids, do you guys want to say thank you? Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you guys. Thank you all. I want to say it's a good season, and I'm and uh, God bless all of you, and I love all of you, and thank you for being with me today. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Right. Have a great day. You too. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.